And remember, got to catch them all. Ah, hello there. I'm Professor Ordovician, and welcome to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> I am a professor of fossil Pokemon. Now that's Pokemon that lived a long time ago and are revived today. However, uh, uh, thanks to modern paleontological fossil Pokemon science, we now have fossil Pokemon roaming wild in the world. And I have heard and traveled to this region specifically because I've been told that there is a massive outbreak of fossil Pokemon. And being the professor that I am, I must research, study, and capture as many fossil Pokemon as I can. <laughs> now, something that I've heard very specifically, that there are two new fossil Pokemon roaming these wilds freely. Tyrant and Amura. Ooh, two of my favorite fossil Pokemon. So, we shall endeavor to find these Pokemon along with other classic fossil Pokemon such as Bastiodon and Archin and, oh, Kranidos. Oh, I love Kranidos. And we shall endeavor to find them all today. So, let's start our journey, shall we? Ah, now this seems like a good path to start on. Ah, now like any good professor, I put some eggs containing fossil Pokemon into incubators as I started my journey today. And it appears, it appears that they are ready to hatch. Now, I don't know what's going to be contained in these eggs as I have it, but let's us find out together, shall we? Ooh, maybe I might get lucky and find a tyrant amongst these eggs. Let's see. Um, oh, an Archin, one of my favorite fossil Pokemon. I've had an Archin <laughs> for so long now. <laughs> this is my partner Pokemon. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I do love Tertoga as well, and then the sea creature Pokemon, and then let's say, uh, oh, a Slugma. I uh, don't know how that got in there. Uh, let's see, um, uh, let's see, um, uh, yes, it's uh, another Slugma. This is uh, not exactly the fossil of the Pokemon I was hoping for. Uh, let's see, I'm um, uh, oh, uh, the Happiny, that's wonderful, great. Hmm. Uh, well, let's see. Oh. Fantastic! We caught ourselves a tyrant. Oh, I don't have to catch her any now. I, I've already hatched one, I suppose. But, well, we will go searching for more tyrant. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, oh, another archer after my own heart, as it were. Let's see. Oh, there's an awful lot of traffic in this region, as it appears. And there's so many eggs hatching. And another slugma. Uh, not perfectly ideal, as it were, but, um, fine, not fine, as it were, and another slagma. I don't really like these results. Um, still, we did hatch a tyrant, which is fantastic. Oh, 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 my first tyrant. Oh, let's see how it comes out. Look at it. Oh, aren't you beautiful? A 925? <laughs> and let's appraise you. Let's see what my leader said. My goodness! Goodness gracious! This tyrant is positively, just positively strong in most regards. I, I don't think I've ever come across a tyrant this strong before. Well, uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, as our adventure is merely just beginning today, perhaps, perhaps it is possible that we might just find a cross, come across an evolved form of Tyrant today. Mm, that would be fascinating. Mm. Ah, now, look at these beautiful flowers. Uh, they smell quite nice, but I can't let myself get distracted. And, and I... oh, well, oh my, what, what is this sort of building in front of me? Mm. Well, maybe it deserves a a quick investigation, as it were. Hmm. Ah, good, you're back. Uh, we stopped in this weird castle of mirrors, this fortress of magnification, of reflection. Ah, re re reflection. Reflection is a good thing. If you think about it, you can reflect upon yourself, where you have been, where you will be, and what you could be in the future. But for now, I'm coming here because I found a wild Granados. Ah, let's see. Let's 
Oh, look at it right there. Ah, now this mode is fine to capture it, but let's capture it in such a place as if it were in the real world. Let's see. Oh, oh there it is. It looks... Don't, don't let the size... For you. He's rather strong, so let's, let's give him a berry to calm him down. Calm him down. And then we'll just see if we'll go in the ball. Let's let's see. A uh, streak broken, but that's not all bad. Let's see. And, uh, and, and, and. Aha! Grenado Scott! How fantastic! Ooh, look at him right there. Ooh, what a fun little boy. And he's a. Well, every fossil Pokemon is precious. <laughs> ah, well, oh! Is it, and it, oh, it disappeared. Well, let us continue on our journey, shall we? <laughs> Professor Ordovician is having so much fun today. Ah, uh, there are some nice-looking flowers. Maybe they'll attract a special kind of Pokemon today. Oh, there goes a bus. I'm not allowed on buses anymore. Ah. Here we are in our secluded wooded glen, and I thought this would be an excellent opportunity to bring out one of my partner Pokémon that I have in my research trips. That's right, my Rampardos. He's been with me quite a long time, and I thought it might be good for you all to see what a Rampardos looks like in its natural habitat, as it were. <laughs> ah, and there's my Rampardos. I call him Mulaney. Oh, you're a good boy, Mulaney. <laughs> now, some people call Rampartus rather, rather dull. Uh, comes from butting their heads in competition. But uh, they may be not the brightest fossil Pokemon, but I do find that they are surprisingly affectionate fossil Pokemon. No, oh, you're a good boy. Oh, who's a good fossil Pokemon, Rampardos? Oh, there you are. <laughs> That's right, my good boy. Ah, now this particular Pokemon region that I'm playing in at one point was covered by a shallow ocean hundreds of millions of years ago, which caused uh, this region to be very rich in a very particular type of fossil Pokemon. And there I found one right now, roaming wild, yes, a Lilip. These ancient sea flower creatures, Pokemon, used to live on the ocean floor, this shallow ocean that used to be everywhere around us now, and now I can find them roaming wild, which is so much more easy than reviving them from fossils, but let's see if I can catch this darling little Lilip. Mm. It would be wonderful to have a whole terrarium, aquarium, full of these fossil Pokémon swimming and living wild again. And yes, indeed, I have found this lily. Ah, let's see where we can find next. And, oh, there's an awful lot of guard traffic, and there were a lot of trains just a second ago, too. Mm. If you could only imagine what life would have been like in the time of fossil Pokémon. And here we are at this tall tower of glass. It's a glass, it's a tower made entirely out of glass, and I can't think of any better place to let one of my prize fossil Pokemon spread its wings. I believe it's time to bring forth my shiny Aerodactyl. Oh, Valentine, it's time for you to make your appearance known. <laughs> ah, Valentine. There you are. Let me get this camera so everyone can see you. <laughs> now, Valentine has very, very sharp teeth. We could shred your skin in fresh to shreds if we wanted to. But Aerodactyl, my Valentine, is a good, good fossil Pokemon. <laughs> One day I hope to find... Oh, that's right. One day I hope to find some Aerolite so we can mega evolve my Aerodactyl so we can truly bring back its fully restored genetics. Oh. 
Ah, it's me, yeah. Professor Hordevis, you Mac, and I'm thrilled. Oh, I should be quiet. Oh, uh, right. Ah, yes, it's me, uh, Professor Orvisian. I'm back, and um, uh, I, I have to be quiet because I just stumbled across my first Amora, the, the long neck fossil Pokemon. I'm, I'm very excited, but sometimes they can be just a bit skittish. Just a bit skittish. It's it's awfully warm today, so I'm surprised I found this ice Pokemon right now. So we're going to be awfully quiet. We're going to try to capture it. I hope you come along. Let's let's try to capture it. Right. Ah, there it is. Oh, I should be quiet. All right. Uh, let's see how we're going to capture it. Ah, perhaps a peanut berry. Ah, that's a good idea. Uh, and a great ball. Let's see. And oh, oh, I missed it. Uh, and oh, oh, I missed it again. And the third time has got to be the charm. Oh, an excellent throw. Oh. Will it work? Did I catch it? Did I? I did! Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful! Ah! Well, we, we did... Oh, awfully busy around here too. I hope they don't scare the fossil Pokémon away. Still, some rather good catches. And there's our Amora. The Tundra Pokémon. I'm so excited to finally have it! Maybe one day when the weather is truly cold and the stars are truly bright, I'll be able to evolve it into its adult form, Aurorus. I'm Professor Ordovician here again, and apparently we're about to receive a major storm, which puts a definite damper, as it were, on our fossil Pokémon hunt. Um, not what I was expecting, however, it's about to storm, it's about to thunder, and I can't think of any better weather to evolve our tyrant into a tyrantrum. <laughs> Born out of thunder and lightning and storms, let our mighty thunder lizard, the most ferocious, the king of fossil Pokémon, be born, shall we? <laughs> and here we go. I'm so excited. Here it comes. Ah, and there it is. Tyrantrum. Truly the king of fossil Pokémon. Well, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to finally have a Tyrantrum as part of my fossil Pokémon party. Oh, I'm sure the two of us are going to create an awful bit of trouble. <laughs> well, that storm is getting mighty ferocious and it's coming in awfully fast. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to call this fossil Pokémon expedition a close for right now. But fear not, Professor Ludovician is always on the hunt for new and exciting Voss of Pokemon breakthroughs. Until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again very, very soon. <laughs>